In this video, we're going to cover the basics of setting up a here link to control our Gremsy gimbal. To start, let's grab our here link air unit, and we'll notice on the right hand side there are two ports one labeled UART and one labeled SBUS. UART is going to get connected to the telemetry one port on our autopilot. So using the included cable, we'll plug in from UART into telemetry one. And then the second connection will go from our SBUS port on the air unit. And we'll notice that there is an SBUS one and SBUS two output. SBUS one is going to get plugged into RCN on our carrier board. And then SBUS two, we're going to grab this and plug it into our SBUS port on the Grumsey quick release. With these connections, we'll be able to control the gimbal from our HearLink remote. Now that we have made the proper cable connections, let's map the channels for pan and tilt control of the Grumsey gimbal. And I'm going to assume for this video that the air unit has been paired to the HearLink and you have also properly calibrated the remote. If this is the first time you're setting everything up and you have not done this, please pause the video, complete these steps, and meet me back here. There's plenty of information on how to do both these things, so we won't cover it. To start, let's scroll down from the top and click on radio status. We'll navigate to joystick, and in this screen, we will calibrate the scroll wheel for controlling both pan and tilt. And we accomplish this by going to the W, which is wheel, and we'll map it to channel 26. This corresponds to channel 10 on the SBUS 2 output. Once we do that, we'll hit save, and then navigate to buttons. And once again, if this is the first time you've set up your here link, you'll need to create a profile, and you do that by hitting new. And then I've labeled mine switch gimbals. So I'd go into new, type in switch gimbals, and just hit OK. After that, we'll go to this button here and scroll to cam short press, as this is the button we'll want to map, and hit add. It'll be a momentary switch, so we'll click on M. And we want to map this to channel 9, so we'll scroll this to 9, and it's on bus 2. The last thing we'll need to do is set up the active value. The default value is correct. We just need to switch this to 1974. So we'll scroll over 1974 and hit save. And then we'll just click away. So this is how we configure both of the buttons for gimbal control on the HearLink. Configuring the Grimsey gimbal for control with the HearLink is relatively simple. We'll power on the system and connect to the gimbal with the G-Tune application. Once we're connected, we'll click on Settings, and then go to Controls, and we will enable Here Link. And what this will do is we should now have pan and tilt control of the gimbal with the scroll wheel, and then the top button will switch between modes. And if we need to quickly center the gimbal, press and hold for two seconds the button, and the gimbal returns to home. If for some reason the gimbal is drifting with no input on the scroll wheel, simply increase the dead zone value under here link. And if the gimbal is moving too quickly or too slowly, just adjust the speed value, and this should correct the matter. Using the scroll wheel, we should have both tilt and pan control of the Grunzi gimbal 